Hi, I'm Tam Wrigley and you're watching iStyle TV. In 2011, and at the age of 15, she hit our screens on Channel 7's X Factor, singing alongside the likes of Johnny Ruffo and Reese Maston. Back then, she was known as Christina Paris. Now, three years later, and at the age of 18, Christina has totally revamped her style, image, sound and name. Look out Australia, Kaya is here. Set it off. It's now or never no more playing to me on. So thank you so much for joining us on the show today. Yeah, thank you so much for having me. It's um, a pleasure. You grew up in Castle Hill. Did you always know you wanted to be an artist? Yeah, um, I was always into the creative arts, whether it had been acting or dancing and then music and piano and singing. So I, I was lucky. I had a super supportive family that allowed me to do that. But I think it's even more of a fight, you know, when you're from a country like Australia or even out in the suburbs like Castle Hill and you know the kind of big dream to go in the city and do what you want mm. so I think even more so yeah I, I always knew what I wanted to do. So growing up as a child what was your biggest music influences? Oh, I when I was younger I loved like my sister loved the Spice Girls so we always sang the Spice Girls and Christina Aguilera and Britney Spears but when I hit like about eight or nine, I went through my Avril Lavigne phase mm -hmm. where I thought it was a crime to brush your hair and I wore boy shorts and I had chains and like leather cuffs with studs on, like full on, full on dark cool. eyeliner. And I actually, I always wanted to paint my nails black, but my mum told me that depressed people and emo people painted their nails <laughs> oh black no. and I wasn't allowed, <laughs> exactly. And now I do it all the time and she does it now and I'm like, oh yeah, depressed emo people, totally your mum. So yeah, no, I was, full on into my Avril and I loved Avril Lavigne for such a long time. So you hit our screens in 2011 as yes. Christina Paris. I know, I'm different now. Oh my god, where's the friend? Yeah, Channel 7, X Factor. Yeah. Tell us about that experience. That was crazy. That was, um, I learnt so much. Um, I met so many people and people that are even helping me now and it was just such a whirlwind. But I, I knew how it was and I knew that it was just for that moment mm. and that, you know, it wouldn't be my saving grace and take me to the top of the world, you know, like to your ultimate goal. So I knew what it was and I was totally fine with that and, you know, out of it I got great fans mm -hmm. and a good team that are now working with me and have been for the past couple of years, so mm -hmm. it's been really good. This is what I live for. So you've tr transitioned from Christina Perry to now Kaya. Yeah. Tell us about that whole process. I guess it was just growing up, really. I guess that Kaya is just the evolved version of Christina Pri, you know, um, I was 14 when I came out with Christina Pri and like that whole thing and when mm -hmm. I started playing gigs and 15, the X Factor so that obviously blew up and then I had 16 and then when I hit 17 I started writing and learning about mm -hmm. different kinds of music and I got into fashion and I was wanted to experiment and try different things and I think now that I'm 18 like Kai has just been a result of that year kind of really figuring out and even then it's not even the result like next year you're gonna see me you're gonna be like totally this chick's changed again but you know what like this is Kai for now I'm gonna say yeah, What I Live For is your amazing new single. Tell us about the whole, the song and that journey. Well, that song um, was about my experience in the industry, the music industry, and um, breaking through that barrier of what they tell you to be and what you want to do. Um, I wrote it in London. I was fortunate enough to go to London last year and work with a, a team named London Noise, and they're super talented. and. It was completely off brief of what I'd been told to write to and I was like, you know what, just effort really. I was just like, I want to write this track. And so we did and I think the song, it was even testimony to my label at the time, like the, the chorus, it's just saying, this is what I'm doing, this is who I am. So I just have to mention four little words and that girls around the world go nuts. Yes. It's five seconds of summer, <laughs> right? Just between you and me, 
Yes. Tell us about your dates with Michael. Dates. <laughs> no, dinner. 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 Like these dates, I'm seeing these words chucked in. I'm like, hmm, it was a dinner. Um, I've known the boys um, before everything. Yeah. Um, and I've been speaking to Michael earlier that year, and we're just like, let's catch up. Obviously, he's got a lot to tell me, I've got a lot to tell him, and so we went out to dinner. <laughs> And have you have you seen him since? I haven't seen him since. No, fair away. Yeah. Um, no, it was good. We went out at dinner. It was great. We chatted. We caught up. Yeah. What? <laughs> <laughs> so tonight is your big red carpet unveiling. Yes. It's very exciting. Do it you is. It is. So this is like the first time I'm stepping out as Kai at a public event again, and so it should be good. Um, I'm really pumped with what I'm wearing and the whole imagery and just everything, just the whole look. Mm. I'm very pumped. I'm very excited. Well, we're filming there, so you'll have to come up and say hi. I know, I will, I will, I will. You better not forget me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, don't worry, I'm gonna be like sparkly and stuff, so. We won't miss you. Yeah, you'll shine. <laughs> Just have to mention four little world. Four little worlds. Four little worlds. <laughs> four little worlds. Okay. Uranus, Jupiter, 